Hello everybody, this is Mr. Step Maniac. Thanks for watching Mike's next tutorial video of how to add a banner and background to a SIM file, as well as adding a video to your SIM file. So before we can actually do these things, we're going to need a few programs in order to convert your your uh, your banner, your pictures into your banner and background. And we're going to need a program that's going to help convert your videos from YouTube to an AVI format. That way, you're able to play this uh, video in your SIM file. And I'll show you how to do it in StepMania too. I have how to add it into the uh, SIM file from while in the program. So first of all, let's do the banner and background first. So you're gonna need a program, and I'm pretty sure you know what program it is. Mostly everybody does, but if you're not sure, it, the program is called Photoshop. Uh, it doesn't matter what uh, CS it is. It could be CS1, CS2, CS3. It could be the uh, CS4 one, which is the brand new one that just came out, or um, any other kind of photoshopped program will work on this one. So let's do this one first. Let's open Photoshop. And I'll be getting my picture right now. But um, on the side note, while this is loading, because it's going to take a little while to load it. Um, again, I've been getting a lot of comments of people wanting to know how to get my SIM files. And they leave my comment down on the videos. They're saying, how do you get the SIM file? I want the SIM file. Well, it's usually in my video where you know the info on the video is when you on the right hand side if you click more info it should be there links if not it's probably one of my newer videos where I don't state it that much anymore but if you're kind of confused just go to, to my um, channel info and look on the left hand side it's gonna be in that whole column right there it's gonna show you how to do it but if you're still unclear I'll show you later when I'm getting on YouTube so right now as you can see we're in Photoshop now and we're, we're gonna need a picture of course so let me go to Google and let's get a good picture. Uh, it could be anything. I don't know what you're going to be doing your songs on. Um, like I just did Dota. All I did was just take the background of the picture from Dota and just add a text to it. And that's your banner right there. I, you don't need to get more uh, creative with it. I mean, I am. I, I just want to make it basic enough so that at least it's a good SIM file. It's it's mostly the steps that count in a SIM file. But if you want to get your attention, you want to get really good banners you can customize it on however you want I just I like basics I don't like to get too involved in creation because I like to get my sim files done and and out to you guys that's and I like to do them quick so so here we go so let's go to a Google and let's look up images Google images and let's look up sky uh, could be anything I don't know if you want it let's take a picture of this one so here we go nice picture so let's save the image. It's going to save it as a JPEG. Save it on your desktop. And it's already saved. And there you can see the pictures right there. So now we're going to go to Photoshop and we're going to open up this picture. So open your picture on your desktop, which is Burning Sky in this case. And it's going to open up the picture. As you can see, here it is. So now you want to know how to do a banner because I usually start off with the banners because the background I just use the picture itself for the background so for the banner you're gonna need to go to a tool called crop it'll say right there crop tool and you're gonna crop the image to at least the desired space you want it so um, I like to usually capture the most important part of the image in the uh, in the uh, picture so let's say I want to capture the Sun in this picture so we're gonna crop this image and we're gonna make it smaller because I this this is not gonna fit onto Stepmania really well. So it, it might, it might, it could be. So now that we got the image cropped, you can resize it, whatever you want, and just click off of it and it or um, just click another tool over here and it's gonna say crop. And you use crop. And there we go. Now we got a crop image of the picture. And since I think it's a little too big still, I'm gonna crop it one more time and I'm gonna make it a little smaller and a little more skinnier because I think Stepmania needs it to be a certain size. I'm not quite sure what size the dimensions are for Stepmania so I, you have to play around with it a bit. Make sure you always save your file when you're done with it. That way you can always go back and edit it. So let's crop the image again and let's pretend the song, let's add some text. So click the T right here which is the text and click and uh, add a name. I don't know. Let's play, let's, let's pretend the song is the beauty beautiful sunlight or the beautiful sun I know I spelled beautiful wrong Ugh. well let's just spell the delightful song 
delightful, the delightful sun. And you might think, hey, that font doesn't even go with the picture. It might. I don't know. It's up to you. So there's a bunch of fonts you can use for it. Since this is, looks like a pretty picture, we want a, 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 uh, a text that kind of goes with the picture. So um, I don't know what's up to you. Like, let's let's pick a pretty one here. A nice simple one that doesn't stand out too much, but at least gives you an example of what is going on in the picture. So um, we could do that one, the delightful sun. Or I don't know. You can name it whatever the the song's called, the burning sun. It's up to you. And you can always customize it on how you want it to look like. I mean, you can make the font bigger right here by going to the T font. You can make it huge. You can make it abnormally huge. Or you can make it extremely small. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want on this. You can make it in what size you want. So I want. I like the other font, which is uh, which is Monotype Curvosa. This one looks pretty good. The Burning Sun. And if you want to change the color of the font, just go right here to this box. And you can change it whatever color you want. And there you have it. There's how you can change the style of letterings and stuff like that. Since I want it like that, let's leave it. At, let's, let's leave it on black. Since I'm going to do a little bit of cool effects on it. If you want to do some uh, cool effects to it, select layer, go to layer style, and go to uh, blending options. You can go wherever you want. It's going to tell you how to do this. And you can add a drop shadow to it. You can add a outer glow, which I love to use a lot. You can use a bevel emboss to make the le the letters look like they're 3D. Um, I use that one as well. Um, like this one, we can make it look like the letters are sh um, the letters are shining off the sun. So let's like look at right here. Watch right there. See, you can make the letters look like they're actually shining off the sh the sunlight, and you can make them like look pretty bright. And then you can add an adder glow to make it look even more cool. Um, like in this case, you would probably use yellow since the sun is yellow and you can spread it on however you want it there's options right here of how to do it and there we go there you go that's just the basic you can do whatever you want on it and let's pretend the artist is going to be uh i don't know josh joshua <laughs> let's just say that let's just say it's my name right now and since we don't want it too big we want it a little smaller you always want to put it somewhere under the na main title because that's how usually artists do it. And let's put featuring, featuring YouTube, <laughs> just to be funny, but featuring YouTube. And we want to make this at least about ten font, so we don't make it too important. And we go to layer, and we add another layer style to it. And let's make it have a outer glow and having a bevel emboss. And there you have it. And there we go. Now we have a basic banner for our SIM file. So now you're going to just go to Save As. Um, you want to actually save the uh, file first, too, like the actual main file of Photoshop. So save that file and just push OK. And then you're going to save it as the banner file, which is going to be uh, you're going to select PNG or JPEG. Each, either one will work. So I'll select JPEG. Erase this copy right here. You don't need this copy. So erase that, save as a JPEG, or save it as Burning Sky 2 since we already have that file up there. So Burning Sky 2, desktop, and save it. It's going to tell you this, put like max quality on it, and push OK. And there we go. And now you should see on your file the actual banner you created. Now as far as the background goes, um, as far as the background goes, I'm going to do this really quick because I'm already running out of time. So close this. You're going to open up your uh, your uh, main file, which was the main JPEG. And you're just going to add text to it. Burning sky. Or the burning sun. sun. And you just do the same thing on this. And you just resize it, make it big so it's because it's a bigger picture. Okay, um, so I think that's all I can show you at the moment. So you can you can do it on whichever way you want. So uh, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be uh, recording another video of how to do this. This might be a three-parter, so just bear with me and uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you.